cool. So, excellent. So here's what I wanted to kind of find out from you is get your feedback on the experience for you personally and how we can moving forward for next year, have a better experience and really. So here's the first question. How much glass did you recycle? Do you remember? Um, definitely a couple hundred pounds. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty I cool. Think 500 at least. 500 Get pounds. Get out of here. That's <laughs> significant. Yeah. I thought something lower. This is very exciting. <laughs> that's, that's like that's like over 60 different items. I that's think like, like that's like at least 300 items. I love hearing. Okay, look, I get excited. Who'd ever get excited about recycling? That's beautiful. Okay, and so now I feel really good. Okay, so what other feedback do you have um, in regards to what you liked, what didn't work, what you'd like to see change, and if we can start planning this year for a better year next year? So let's you take it and start any way that works for you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I loved. Um, the location saint rock is awesome it's a good venue i loved the speakers i think we could have done better with the setup of like what is what is the stage so that people like there were people all around the speakers instead of like just in front of them um, and i think not everyone was able to like get everyone's speaker event yeah. you know but i thought yeah. that that was the best part everyone talking about you know what they love about recycling and it was just beautiful i loved the speakers um and obviously loved the fashion show but i think again we could do that better with like more of a defined runway or something i agree um go ahead no what i was going to say for next year we have a total we have about eight other dresses that we didn't show that are done by the kids because we really didn't have the kids as, vol as involved as we wanted. Most of our kids had to go to prom. It was one excuse after another. And I really got that this is just a, let's just do this so we can proceed and see that it's viable. So next year, the component I'm thinking of adding is Friday night is just going to be, of course, recycling, bring your glass, but we're going to have the block, block off doing a performance parade, which looks like a show, but it's like the dancers, the brass band, you get to see like 30 to 60 different dresses. And I'm hoping to make uh, one of the biggest dresses ever out of paper. That's, I'm going for a Guinness Book of World Record. Wow. So if, if I didn't tell anyone that because I'm still researching, but I think it's to our advantage to do it because there's only a few places that outdo us. And um, I'm really getting a, a lot. I'm planning on getting a lot of other countries involved in sending, whether it's hats or puppets or or um, the dresses so that it really becomes this really beautiful experience where it's like the bleachers, you know where the street is? What'll be happening is there'll be bleachers set up on one side and the, the, the show or the stage is actually the street. And that'll be for Friday night. And that'll be, of course, donation only a ticket, but that's where we're really going to kind of fine tune that experience of the fashion show, uh, poets, performers all one so it's going to begin to look like a Mardi Gras experience but we're taking it in little phases but I'm glad that you shared your information about the fashion show because I felt that as well too but I didn't want to we wanted to get a bigger stage but I said I don't really know what the numbers are so now that I saw what the numbers are I do believe we're going to exceed that um, but please continue I don't you don't need to hear me say more so thank you I got that but I wanted to infuse that what what else did you see? Um, I think other than that, it went really well. The glass, I feel like the glass could have been moved to the front. We felt a little uh, abandoned back there and didn't get to enjoy all of the festivities. And I feel like it could be anywhere. I mean, it's pretty small and we can roll them at the end of the night or whatever. Um, but other than that, I thought it went really well. It was easy for us um not a big lift on our end so no complaints okay. really 
cool. I'm thinking if if next year, if we started, um, like, I don't really like handing out paper flyers and invites because I'm not, that's not sustainable. And, you know, we had probably, we printed about, I think overall we printed like maybe a thousand. And maybe what I should have said is bring this to, to get in free so that we could have some kind of way to be able to, to capture those. But I don't really, you know, right now St. Rock shared with me, which I thought was really cool that they are doing recycling. So now we can say that we recycled 98% uh, glass for that event, which is, I don't think anybody else has done that yet. And the other thing they expressed to me is even though the French Quarter Fest was taking place, they had for the first time, not including COVID, they saw their numbers uh, be slightly higher during the French Quarter period of their of their time. So they had 200 transactions per day from five to 10 that were accredited to us. So I thought that that was pretty powerful information that we could be able to say that we're seeing some numbers because I do like numbers um, because it's like if we're just doing this for a fluff presentation, it really isn't that. But it's really now I'm trying to weigh all of the paper hats and everything and see how much paper we actually saved on the planet. So with your yeah. 500 pounds of glass that we retrieved and recycled, um, plus the paper, I think that this really does what we needed to do and have some really good numbers. So thank you. Um, yeah. What you remember we were talking about glass blowers. How can you, is there a way for next year we can have like more demonstrations on how glass is used? Is there a way to do that cleverly? You can reach out to some of the glass blowers in the area. Um, I'll send the name, Andrew Pollock, and then Andrew Barrows. Those are the glass artists I know who do okay. like teaching. Okay. They do teaching, so they're used to like setting up in different areas. And they're here in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll start. I will start doing inquiries now because what I'd like to do, in addition to the parade on one night and having the festival be one day from like 11 to the time it closes, is I'd like to have installations during the market where you see a glass station that's someone recycling, a paper station, someone taking twigs and making them into animals because that's someone I do want to bring into New Orleans and she's from the UK. And um, I don't think I'm going to be, I don't know how Nigeria is going to be next year, but this guy that I am on Instagram with and we chat, he can take tires. So think of this, take tires and make them look like animals. And so I was like going, shit, that could be wicked. So at least I said, well, if we don't get them next year, we can start working on it and in having headline bands next year. So I'm kind of working on really um, up, upping it a little bit so that we can have a better appeal and reach a wider audience. But we do know everyone's coming is earth friendly. They're conscious to some degree, so. Okay, anything else you can think of that we need, you might want to share that I need to know? Not right now, we loved it. I had a good okay, time. So I guess the rumor is you would do it again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. And what, I, and what I'll do is take in mind in having the station, instead of being in the back, is kind of, then that would allow me to just have two points of entry versus, no, have one point of entry versus two. Um, because, you know, the second day, the guard, the guards, it was, um, it was crazy. I, I was trying to understand what they were doing. And I'm like, and you're getting paid for doing what you're doing. I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. You know, um, let's work this out better. But in hindsight, um, I wanted to make sure that if we had a lot of people, we had different ways where people came in in case we had so much glass that it was clinking and, and making noise that was my reason behind it but um having you more infused i think would be better and maybe having you on one of the um neutral grounds 
where people drive by and want to donate, they can. I'm just trying to think of how we can make it more fun. So with all of that, that's kind of what I guess we have to talk about. We did it. I think we're done. And um, I'll be back in touch. I'll have a report ready probably next Monday. Uh, today, I kind of released some things, you know, in my on my video, but I think now it's really talking numbers in regards to what sustainability really looks like. And I want to um, start our YouTube channel where we start talking about sustainability from glass and making it actually like a news show so that we can actually start gaining momentum a year in advance with talking about sustainability and what that looks like. So I'll keep you updated on that. So safe travels, where are you headed to? Salt Lake City. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I thought someplace really radical, like, you know, the Bahamas or. Oh, I wish it's Salt a work Lake trip. City. Are you, are, is that vacation or family? No, we're visiting a recycling plant. Oh, take pictures. Of You're going to take pictures and videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'd like to hear more about that. So that might be that topic we want to talk about. Are they really well known for that in Utah? Um, yeah, this plant in particular is very large and they do a lot of glass. So that's why we're really going to them. Very cool. All right, my dear one. Well, thank you, Fran. I appreciate your time. And with that in mind, let me stop this crazy recording that I'm learning to do on my own on my phone. I'm so proud of myself that I'm, I'm 